家好，我叫 Christina。Hi, everyone. I'm Christina. I'm Dominic. It is my pleasure to share with you my project that brought from the Medjugorje. In 2005, we went to Medjugorje for the first time. It was organized by the parish. On arrival, we felt already a great sense of peace and serenity. During the pilgrimage, our mornings were occupied with numerous activities. Like attending morning evening masses, Eucharistic adoration, praying the rosary, praying on the apparition here, and following the weight of the cross on the mountain. We have visited also a few charitable organizations and spiritual centers, and listened to talks and teaching by the missionaries and spiritual directors. These activities fill our hearts with joy. It seemed to me that everyone was busy, focusing on, focusing on one thing: to love and honor God. Especially during the daily group sharing time, we listen to the group members. We share their feelings, their experiences. We truly felt how blessed Virgin Mary is within us. For me, it felt like heaven on earth. Because people were so much nicer to each other. They moved me deeply. One evening, about 11 p.m., it was already dark. We and another friend were standing beside the church and took a photo. It was strange. In the sky was so black and so dark. Suddenly, a halo of light appeared in our photo. It was a photo. In can you see on the screen? We didn't know why the color, the the halo of color happened in the image. Some people see this shape like a cross. Some think it is a dove. And that night, some friend make joke on us. Maybe our lady have a job for us. We thought. We thought just we are ordinary people. Why our lady called us? But in our minds, we have a doubt. We doubts. We then we we can only pray pray to Our Lady of what to do and what messages you want to give us. A few months later, after returning from Medjugorje, a friend invited us for a three day three day golf camp. He had won a he had won a won a pass to join to join this three day camp golf camp. So he invited us. Besides, we both. He invited also two couples, two other couples. The day before departure, he with his he and his wife didn't go. So he left us. He didn't go finally. So he left us and another couple. But since my wife and the other lady, they didn't know each other, and they didn't know how to play golf neither. 
so they de decided not to go and finally my f another friend and I Andrew Young and my friend and I went on trip and Andrew have been to Medjugorje many times and he is very devoted to our little Medjugorje when we arrived at the campsite it was raining it rains during the days and finally we didn't have occasion to play to play golf so finally we checked we have a time of sharing and Andrew talked talk, talk about Medjugorje all the time he told me many stories on Medjugorje during our conversation Andrew suddenly came up with an idea to form an organization an organization a non-profit charity organization that would bring more pilgrims to Medjugorje to receive Our Lady's blessings. I thought it was a good idea it's because since in my company I have some office spaces that I can make it free so I say yes and afterwards I have a second fort to setting up a non-profit organization may not be as simple as I imagined when Dominic came home from the camp from the golf camp the first thing he told me he told me was to set up a Medjugorje center in my office spaces a charitable organization my response immediately immediate response was what what an organization what is that I was frustrated what to do and I thought is there's no reason that we start a company or sign an organization just within two of us my first resources was to prayer so I thought I thought of my prayer to Our Lady I pray dear mother Mary if it is your will please send us to give me give me the name give us a name so that I can invite them to take part of this project sure enough a few names came up in my prayer but of course they are not the friends familiar but in my heart a humbly says it's not it is not possible so embarrassing to invite something someone I, I do not really know but I think for thrice if it is if it is really uh, our latest plan I have no reason to reject at the end I try I try I force myself to call them before I called I prayed Mama Mary I just called once if they reject me they refuse my project I won't insist and luckily a few friends agreed to take part to come to sh the sharing and uh, for the project and on that day my eldest friend's girlfriend was visiting our home knowing that we were holding a meeting he volunteered to take notes for us to help us I think it was good but then we sat down to talk we realized that to start up a non-profit organization we must apply from the government it takes time the procedures and monies are paid for the legal legal charges it was then we found that our heavenly mo mother was prepared the girl the girlfriend of my son is just like a gift from our lady she's, she's a lawyer she helped us with all the application procedures Long, long after around six months later we received all the official approval or official documents from the government which will usually take two years of time we found this is amazing we found this very amazing it is obviously the works of our lady the wish of our lady through prayers really prayers with the heart 
uh, under the guidance of Our Lady. And with the approval of the of the then bishop or city bishop. Bishop Lacey. Bishop Lacey. And also Father Peter Leung coerced the parish priest of Chinese Martyr Catholic Church in Toronto. And also some other Catholics friends in Canada. Finally, the Medjugorje Center of Canada was established on the 25th June 2006. This was also a coincidence, the 25th anniversary of Operation of Our Lady in Medjugorje. On, the on that day, on the same time, both in Medjugorje and Toronto, we offered our Franski thing. And this year, we celebrate the 50th, 15th anniversary of our Medjugorje Center in Canada. At the same time, the 14th anniversary, it was always the day of coincidence with Medjugorje. So the center in Canada holds firmly the founding principles to our ladies' car. To do everything to glorify God to and loving each other, which which was the teaching from Jesus. During the past fifteen years, some two thousand people from all over the world. It was around two thousand people, including North America, from the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong, then even to Singapore. The, and the pilgrimages were mostly conducted in English and in Cantonese. By the grace of the many efforts of many priests, all pilgrimages were accompanied by fathers, by a spiritual director. In addition, Medjugorje Center from Canada Host two retreats a year, a year, and regular Queen of Peace prayer group and adoration, Eucharistic adoration. Under the Our Lady's amazing plan, we were able to witness her humility and complete obedience before God. <laughs> It is our hope that Medjugorje Center of Canada will become a community for sanctification, following Our Lady's footsteps in meeting her virtues, to continue to be her instrument in the spirit of glorifying God and loving each other. By living this each hour, each day, we will march forward our road to sanctity and holiness. It was a good news for us recently. The Medjugorje Center of Canada was recognized as a lay association of the lay faithful in the Archdiocese of Toronto. It is indeed another great encouragement for Our Lady. We will continue to do our best at Our Lady Instrument to spread her messages and glorify God. Please pray for the needs of Medjugorje Center Canada. Thank you so much. Thank you.